This is way easier than a heat gun. I have no idea if, uh, if we're gonna have enough time. Today I'm gonna go wrap the Lambo, not a full wrap, just a half wrap. But now I have to rewrap this part again. This is way easier than a heat gun, guys. So you guys see on wrapping cars the whole day, happening in an oven. We're literally in an oven. And we're literally in a, this is a collision center, if you guys don't know. It's a collision center, so we're in the oven where they bake the cars after they paint it. And it's way easier because the, the whole car is just hot. So it's way easier than a heat gun and heating up piece by piece. Look how easy the wrap is coming out. Straight up driven, HQ basically. Working on the Lamborghini Aventador. Here's their Ford GT if you've seen videos of it doing donuts and the race trips and he goes crazy with all his cars. Like he abuses his cars. He has a lot of crazy cars, Ferrari, Bentley, all these crazy. He has a lot of crazy cars. We just finished wrapping, unwrapping, sorry. We just finished unwrapping the Aventador. I'm gonna come tomorrow, wrap the whole car chrome gold. Not the whole car, just the top. A, a couple designs, a couple decals. So we're doing all his decals. We had a Tiffany blue, if you guys saw on my Instagram page, we had all his decals done in Tiffany blue before. Now we're gonna redo all these decals in chrome gold and we wrap the whole top of the car in chrome gold. And if we have enough time, I might be doing the bumpers and the side skirt also in chrome gold. But I have no idea if, uh, if we're gonna have enough time because it's Wednesday, currently 3 p.m. right now. And we only have one day to do uh, everything. All right, so we just got done unwrapping and prepping the Lambo. All the insides right here. All the vents. It still has a PPF on it. So the PPF stayed on the car, even when we took the old wrap off. So it was PPF, the whole car is PPF. And whoever wrapped it wrapped on top of the PPF. But in the spoiler, the only part, the PPF came out with the wrap. So this part doesn't have a PPF on it anymore. But I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but you can see the cut of the PPF. You can see the cut of the PPF right here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. You can see it in other places. It's more obvious, like like this right here. So the car still has a PPF on it. I'm done unwrapping it. Clay barred the whole area ready for tomorrow. So I'm gonna go home, get the old decals ready. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be here as early as I can, hopefully 8.30, 9 a.m. And then I'm gonna wrap the whole top chrome gold and then obviously put all the decals on and have it ready for Friday. He told me I'm invited to the event. I'm gonna ask him if I can get a plus one because he told me I'm invited, but I can't invite anyone. <laughs> hopefully I can get a plus one, be able to bring someone to this event. Check out the car though. V12 engine, crazy car. I love this car. The next day. Thursday, we're on our way to Straight Up Driven's headquarters slash collision center. I'm gonna be wrapping the event door. So yesterday, after I went to LA to grab more material, I went straight to Anaheim for their headquarters. Then I unwrapped the Lambo. After I unwrapped the Lambo, we clay barred the whole car, made sure there was no adhesive, got it ready just to wrap. Today I'm gonna go wrap the Lambo, not a full wrap, just a half wrap, getting it ready for tomorrow, because the guy has a party tomorrow and he's going to VidCon and he needs the car ready for VidCon and his event tomorrow. So I'm gonna go start working on the Lambo today. I'm probably gonna come tomorrow morning also, work on the car a little bit more before the event. Just got here at the Straight Up Driven HQ. I'm gonna start working on this Lambo right now. I got everything set up, got all my tools with me. The wrap is right there. And I'm gonna start chopping my way through it. Put you guys on the time lapse.
We're complete three hours in. I wrapped these two panels and the vents and the whole top. While I'm working on the whole top right now, I came to pull this out and look what happened. So the material was stuck on this and it's pretty hot outside right now. So it was stuck so bad when I pulled this one out, it just pulled the whole bottom of this piece out. So now I have to rewrap this part again which is annoying because those two pieces by themselves because so they're so curvy they took me two hours to wrap so now i have to probably another hour to redo this one mm, my life is full of bad decisions but i'm not regretting the thing she making me crazy she having my